all right what's going on guys the uh, next gen louis here and um today uh before i get into this batting tutorial video i just wanted to take a moment to thank you guys so much um uh for all the support and for finally getting me to 500 subscribers uh, on my channel so it really means a lot to me um I just I like seeing the channel grow and uh, like I said I have my own goals and hopefully by the end of the year um, we can surpass 500 and be uh, hopefully over a thousand so that's my goal for this year so be sure to uh, you know share all my content like and uh, if you're not subscribed to uh, my channel be sure to subscribe but yeah I just want to take a, a moment to just thank you guys so much for all the support and for finally getting me to 500 subs so Thank you guys and uh, let's get right into the video. This is just kind of some tips that might help you. Um, like I said, I I at times I lose games, I strike out. Um, I do hit quite a bit of home runs. I think it's part of uh, this technique and I hope it helps you guys. But my tip number one is I hold down the power bar until it's full and here's the pitch. So this, this way, um, if I hit the ball, make contact, uh, obviously it's at 100% power. So there you go, guys. So I held it down. You see on the right, it said 100% power, and we hit a home run on uh, the second pitch of the game with uh, George Springer. So it's really that. Uh, I know they say that with holding down the power button, uh, what happens is that... Uh, your contact goes lower so obviously the lower the power the bigger your contacts is supposed to be um, the higher your power the lower your contact supposed to be so it's kind of something that you know it's kind of like a, a balance thing so I'm guessing if you hit it at 50 power you'd be like at 50 contact uh, so you just have a better chance of hitting the ball um, the next tip I have for you is uh, it's all kind of like timing um and then obviously like the speed so whenever you face someone who throws um like 100 mile an hour and then they go to a change up you know obviously there's at least over you know 10 mile mile an hour difference between those two pitches so you kind of have to almost be prepared to swing early especially if you're swinging late so you just have to kind of pick up on those tens all right so let's see i'm owing to Ooh, he got me on that. So you see, like, I strike out at times. That's part of the game. I strike out. Um, yes, I hit a home run on my second pitch here. Um, but it's obviously it's part of it. It, it also varies with players. So obviously, um, this is an all-star team. Both teams are all-star teams. So obviously, they're the best of the best, have amazing power, great contact. So, you know, that, that's, that's what kind of helps. All right, guys. So... Um, one thing that I thought of, I can maybe do my best to show you guys what I mean by timing. So I'm going to go ahead and show this on camera. So that was released pretty well. Um, that I think that's going to be an out. Yeah, right at the warning track. But um, hopefully you're able to see the release. But I'm going to do it one more time. All right. So this one. This one's gone here with Bregman, uh, so I'm not sure if you guys, uh, hopefully I didn't move, but hopefully you guys were able to see um, kind of like my release. So like I said, all I do is hold down A and I release. Um, you know, I try to time it as best as I can. And Sanchez with the home run there, so. Gone. See ya. Well guys, um, that's really all I have for, for my personal tips. Like I said, I don't think I'm the best batter at this game. I'm sure, um, you know, there's a lot of other people that are really good and they may have better tips for you. This is just the way that I bat personally here. Like I said, I hold down the power button and I release, um, you know, right when it's time. But honestly, that's really all I have. I mean, it's really just kind of recognizing the pitch you'll get better as you play obviously the more you play you'll be able to recognize you know oh that's gonna be a ball there this might be um this might catch the edge of the plate you know i better swing or uh, kind of see 
you know, you'll definitely be able to distinguish like a breaking ball and a fastball. Um, so it's just kind of recognizing that and being good about adjusting. So obviously if you have someone who's throwing a hundred miles an hour and you're, it shows that you're late every time you swing, obviously you got to release earlier or, um, it's really that and breaking balls. I have a horrible time with breaking balls. I always release early. It always tells me early. So for me, sometimes I have to recognize that and I have to be a little more patient with it. Let the ball travel uh, a little more and then swing. Um, but that's really all I have for you guys. Um, I, I hope it helps you guys. Like I said, I'm not like I'm really not a pro um at at hitting on this game so those that's really the best i can do to teach you guys uh, how to hit better um let me know what you guys think in the comments if you guys have any other suggestions uh please let you know lo note that down well guys that's really all that i have for today so uh, don't forget to leave a like on the video today um let me know what you guys think in the comments and like i said um if you guys have anything you'd like to add, uh, maybe a suggestion, you know, feel free to put that down in the comments and uh, maybe it'll help someone or myself. Um, and other than that, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and uh, thank you guys so much.